Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about repairing the Microsoft Edge web browser if you're experiencing a problem on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing here would be to close out of Microsoft Edge if it's currently open. And then you want to go ahead and select the little file explorer icon down in your taskbar. You can search for it as well. And then you want to go over to this PC on the left side. So go ahead and left click on that. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. There should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive. Go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the users folder. And now double click on your username. My username is just literally computer user. I know it's very original, but we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. And now you want to locate the app data folder. If you do not see an app data folder in here, you're going to have to select the view option up here at the top, and then select show. And then where it says hidden items, go ahead and left click on that. Now the app data folder should be visible. Double click on it. And now you want to double click on the local folder. And then finally locate packages, double click on it. Now not too far down the list here, there should be something that says Microsoft.edge, or Microsoft.MicrosoftEdge, I should say. So you can see there's a couple here. We're going to select the one that has the 8-W-E-K-Y starts with that. So you're just going to right click on this folder and select delete, the little trash can icon. You can tap delete on your keyboard as well. You can do either or. So once you're done with that, you should go ahead and close out of here. And you want to go restart your computer. Attempt to relaunch the Microsoft Edge web browser and hopefully that has resolved the problem. If you're still having a problem, we can try resetting the Microsoft Edge browser. So just keep that in mind, we're going to be resetting it. So we're going to go use a PowerShell command here. So open up the start menu, search for PowerShell. Windows PowerShell should be the best option here. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video, guys. I want you guys to copy it. It starts with get app x package. So just highlight over, right click and copy, or use control C on your keyboard, just like you would copy any text. And then go up the top bar of the PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin this process. And then once you have a blinking cursor at the end, that should be done. Close out of here and attempt to relaunch the Microsoft Edge web browser. Now there's a few different other things, or at least there's a couple other things we can take a look at here. So first thing I would recommend trying would be to select the menu icon up at the top right. And you want to go select the settings button. And you can select where it says reset settings on the left side. And where it says restore settings to their default values, you can left click on that. This will reset your startup page, new tab page, search engine, and pin tabs. It will also disable all extensions and clear temporary data lake cookies. Your favorites, history, and safe passwords will not be cleared. Select Reset. And then you can close out of here and attempt to relaunch the Edge browser, and that should hopefully resolve the problem. If you're unable to get into Microsoft Edge, there is something else we can try as well, and that will entail opening up the search icon. Type in Apps and Features. Best match, you come back with apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go ahead and scroll down where it says apps. So go ahead and search the apps field here. So you see there's a little field here. I'm just going to search for Edge. Microsoft Edge should come up. Select the three dotted icon next to it. And select the modify button. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And it's going to give you a little wizard here. It says repair Microsoft Edge. It requires an internet connection and will reinstall the browser. Your browser data and settings won't be affected. 
I always take that with a grain of salt because whenever you're doing something like this, it very likely may reset stuff. So you will have to more than likely sign back into the website that you may have been signed into prior. So go ahead and select the repair button. And then once it says installation complete, what's just closing out of here and restart your computer once again? And there you go, guys. Attempt to relaunch the Edge browser, and hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. So I think we covered quite a few different workarounds in this tutorial, and I would like to think that one of them would work for you. I am like almost you know, 100% confident that if you're having an issue specifically with Microsoft Edge, that one of these would have resolved the problem. If you're having a website-specific issue, that likely has nothing to do with your browser. So just keep that in mind. But just about any common Microsoft Edge browser specific related problem should have been resolved. So pretty straightforward process. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.